so recently my uh, 500 GB secret hard disk uh, not detected on the BIOS and not showing in any Windows related software or any third party applications also in the C, C tools from the Seagates is not also not detecting the hard disk in the DOS mode also <coughs> so I have to find the I have to find some way to enter into the firmware also uh, need to reset it to the uh, first stage the smart function is uh, using some some kind of restriction not to use the hardware anymore and it is showing the bc mode the bsy mode was enabled uh, while checking on the firmware so this video is all about how to reset it and how to recover the data from my 500 gb seagate the it was in the 7200.12 hard drive not the 11 hard drive so for the 11 hard drive you need an additional piece of uh, paper in between the board and the, uh, the the head circuit inside the um, hard disk so in the 12 board you don't need to place any paper so two kind of uh, rest, uh, ins instructions are available on the internet you can check if you want and uh, while I am trying to enter into the, um, the ter terminal mode by pressing the control Z uh, so it is not showing like this it is showing uh, SATA reset so it was in the busy mode I think and we have to reset it from the busy mode so we need to short the uh, read channel then it will enter into the busy uh, from the to the uh, diag mode the, uh, the F3T uh, something like that will show in the uh, terminal so I'm using the USB to detail board here with the putty putty software and you can find the configuration instructions here just uh, follow this and let's start our video so also I this this uh, this was the last error message for my hard disk no host FIS ready status flags the code was different and uh, this was helped me to uh, reset my hard disk now the hard disk is fully uh, back up and it is not using anymore and it is nearly 12 years old hard disk not using uh, every day it is only used for some backup purpose but uh, it shows some symptoms earlier than this and it is uh, suddenly uh, vanished from my windows not uh, entered into the BIOS mode something like that so then again it is started showing in the windows but while we are opening some folder the folder automatically closes the explorer restarts that was the symptoms and if you face any kind of this you need to reset it to the first stage and back up the hard disk immediately so let's go and let's start the video So the hard disk started to spin but it is not showing on the uh, disk management in the windows and uh, let's turn on this and i'm using the external power supply uh, so this is the four pin uh, urt output so we need to use some usb to ttl board i'm using the cp2102 board here to connect from the my pc to the hard disk and i also uh, mentioning the uh, putty software you can use any terminal software like the hyper terminal so i'm connected the pins here the rx and the tx so i will show some diagrams here you can use if it's not worked you can reverse the connection so it will start working and i also uh, you can find the guide in the link this is the connection uh, uh, diagram the tx rx and the ground uh, also uh, you need to first uh, install if you are using the usb to ttl in the first time you need to download the drivers from the official website the silicon labs you can find it the link in the description box so the universal windows driver you can find just click on it it will uh, download the zip file just go and extract it somewhere and uh, you need to open the device manager uh, just wait uh, okay okay all files here okay then you need to open the device manager you can find the cp2102 go and update the driver you, uh, choose the folder and just click on next and it will install the driver files here just note the com port because it will be needed in the putty software this here the com3 but let try change it to the com10 because some some issues are there so i downloaded the uh, putty software also 
it is a free software you can find it in the internet if you want you can use any kind of uh, other terminal like the hyper terminal or uh, uh, something like that wait for it to download okay okay you can install it now now I'm go opening the putty software and this is a configuration go to serial and uh, give the serial number the the port number speed word rate everything will be like this and open so it will open the window here and if you uh, started the hard disk uh, it will show something like that the boot spin up and some some code and the SATA reset this this is the error here the hard disk is in the uh, busy mode the BSY mode here so we need to uh, short the uh, the read channel here so it is not uh, showing like the F3T here it is not uh, it is not allowing me to enter to any kind of uh, terminal mode here so we need to uh, short the circuit here you can find actually it's some PDF uh, in this in the in the description box so some some uh, some Seagate hard disk are show, show listed here and for me this uh, this is my uh, hard disk board it is uh, the same two boards is showing here and you can find it in the near the same screw you need to short these two so it will short the read channel and it will enter into the normal board so you can find here you can uh, scroll down and you can find any the laptop hard disk also so I'm not going into it I just need only uh, this image here so if you want you can find it in the description box and check if you if you're using the same uh, pinouts or the connections so otherwise don't short it if you don't know make sure you are shorting the correct channel so I'm I'm shorting now uh, I'm using a tweezer for this purpose so I'm shorting the two pinouts here uh yes okay i'm um, shorted and let's turn on the the hard drive after turn on you just short it so it will enter in the read channel so it is so it's a tricky thing so you can see now it is in the as you diag port that is what i am saying you need to short the these two pins here so it will uh, enter from the busy mode that's it now uh, back to the uh, putty uh, you can actually see the f3t is here mm, and some okay here it is the f3t uh, you need to enter in the level 2 so slash 2 and wait 20 seconds before entering the next command because it needs to some some relaxation time here so enter easy and it will uh, start to you can feel the hard disk is spinning down and it is spin down completed and uh, and it is showing some uh, help here if you see some message like this it is showing the cycle power wait 20 seconds so something like that now we need to up the uh, start the motor again so give the command u so wait for it now the spin up is completed and now we are in the level 2 we have to change from level 2 to level 1 just slash one it will enter into the level one and here we need to enter n1 to reset the smart function but you can see the init smart fail because it is not allowing me to uh, reset or uh, erase the smart memory so this is a problem here and um, the smart sector is not racing so we cannot uh, go any further if we if we cannot uh, resolve this issue and I tried a lot of things from the internet and nothing worked it is showing the same error here so again I uh, turn, on, turn off and turn on my hard disk now it is showing no host FIS ready status flags the code here I think this is the same code that uh, I showed there later okay now it is in the F3T again I am giving this command m0 comma 2 uh, comma 2 comma 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
hmm. something is uh, something is happening to the hard disk <sighs> okay let's search something more and let's see what is going on we need to uh, oh the, the the terminal should be like this the max wr retries 00, zero. Nice. Uh, read. Read. Rise. Zero. Zero. Okay. Okay. Let's go and search something in the internet. I tried some other uh, codes found in the internet. Some while pressing the control A, control I, control Z, control X, it will show some other details. If you need only, you can check this part or you can skip to the next uh, chapter shown in my video the hard disk was from the 2011 <laughs> it is a 12 year old hard disk it is showing some some values i don't know what this is all just trying something trying something out i want the data backup It is showing the SETA block registers. SETA global, transport layer, blah 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 blah. Ah, not do this. Let's try some other commands. Try control, control X, U, X, X. X means uh, test read write head resistance. Okay, I entered in the level seven and X. Oh, you need to enter the capital X. Okay, it is showing the head resistance zero zero D four zero zero AB. I think that is normal. I don't know. Maybe because some uh, some instructions says if the head resistance is more, it will show the same error. It is not going to enter into the normal mode. We have to reset or we have to unscrew the device, uh, unscrew the hard disk and reset the, the head. Maybe something like that, but I am not going to do it because the data is precious. So the I don't, um, I don't know, I don't know what to do. The head resistance, what it is. And I tried some uh, other uh, commands here. You can check the slash T. The slash T means we are entering into some normal settings user slip defect list the v1 v2 uh, v4 checks g list entries checks p list i don't know what is t list g list p list no idea showing some random values here somehow oh oh Let's skip this. And this is the uh, N5, uh, which is short, showing the smart uh, values. N5. Return smart values in terminal window, N5. It is all showing 0, 0. Some values are also registered. FT, 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 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What this is so no idea what this is all. Why translator is here? You can see no host FS ready status means translator is not ready. What is a translator? Any idea? Okay, let's get into the command mode to the putty again. 38400 flow control non open and I'm going to try this got now. This helped me to resolve my issue. So the no host FIS ready status flag, we need to reset it so um, the hard disk turn on the hard disk showing the boot spin up showing the error no host fis ready status flags enter into the control z f3 t mode f3 mode here just enter what is saying what is saying i4 comma 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 22 enter it nothing showing slash one and slash n1 n1 showing the init smart fail okay oh it is showing the same error 
previously we saw but i'm not going to give up let's uh, turn on the hard disk and let's turn on it again so it will start from the boot and spin up now host fi is ready status flags f3t now going to add this m0 2 comma 2 comma 0 comma 0 comma comma 22 enter now see now see the data is returning something important here the max wr retries which was showing in the previous so so i think i think the hard disk is now uh, reset i don't know uh, if it is showing the same value here 0000, zero, 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 zero uh, i don't know the values are same it is showing the rewrite entries is so a zero zero requesting file save okay let's turn on and turn off turn off and turn it on again now the error is gone now the error is gone only showing the SATA reset okay I think this saved my hard disk now go into the disk management let's see I'm connected three hard disk now yes the 500 GB hard disk is now alive let's go and check the data here yes yes I got all my data so that's it uh, I try to back up my data but it is only showing 50 mbps which is very low for this hard disk so that's it that is how I reset my hard disk thanks for watching this video we will see again